hello guys welcome to this video this is online to alpha this is another section of a video which we're going to be showing you our new develop software which you will use to extract targeted emails on internet okay if this is your first time of watching our video can you do by hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video and stay updated on more videos like this okay guys so what is extractor extractor it's a it's a platform or let me say it's a word used in marketing to scribble out email addresses it can either strip scribble emails or phone number it can either be emails and it can be phone numbers but this particular video we are going to focus on how you can extract emails addresses so stay with me to the end of this video because i'm going to be giving you an offer at the end of this video okay guys before i show you the software let me quickly explain some of the features in this software and how you can make use of it to extract emails number one thing is that you can extract with a keyword i'm going to be directing you and give you a guideline on how you can use your keyword to get accurate email addresses of your domain or general domain randomly two you can extract from um, a website url you can use the software to extract from the website url which i'm going to be showing you you can use this software in the next and um, the subsequent video i'm going to be showing you how to use this software to extract on instagram extract emails from facebook extract emails from um, twitter extract emails from tiktok i'm going to be showing you all this in the next video so generally this video we're going to be showing you how to extract web made generally on google how you can just extract like that so what are the things you need um, if you check the description of this video, you'll find the link to either contact me or go straight to download the software. Now, you're going to have the software. It's a Chrome extension, just like this. Let me open my file so I can put you to on how to go about it. You're going to have something like this. So, the first thing you have to do after you download the software is to right click and you extract this folder. You click on extract or, or if you are using WinRAR, you can select extract file. So, it's going to extract. So, it's waiting for it. So, once it's completed, then you go to your Chrome browser just like this then you open a new tab and uh, inside your new tab you're going to search for chrome from this point you can get if you click on this arrow you can manage your extension to take you there and uh, or you should go to this chrome then extensions like this <clears throat> excuse me so once you are in like this you're going to have something like this Okay. Or better still, you click on this button showing it, then you click on manage extension. It's still going to take you to this place. So, say, so the first thing you have to do is to activate developer mode. You must on it. You see it's blue. I off this, it's off. Or you must make sure it's on, just like this. Once you have that, you go back to this place and click load on pack. Okay. Then from this, you locate the uh, file locations which you have the software which we just. Uh, uh, extracted which is this one you click on this and you click on select folder okay let me upload this again and this and select folder and you can see loaded extension is loaded we have this this is the software right here now this is the software so what you're going to be doing is this um you're going to click on this both thing to pin this the software down you can see this you can pin it down pin so you can easily access the software so when i click on this software it asks for a um, license key, which uh, I'm going to be giving to you. Okay, so once it's activated like this, you have the interface of the software. And you can see it's going to get you the name. It's going to get you uh, email addresses and it's going to get you URL. And uh, you can easily copy all the emails. You can export all. You want to export the name and the URL. You can export only emails. This button, you can clear your data out. And for this, this is a bulk website scraper. From this, you can import um, or you can type in the website URL you want to scrape for. This is the sample of what you can um, use to, and click on box scraper. Then software is going to get, find you email addresses, run this. And uh, you can copy the uh, emails, you can extract the emails and uh, the rest like that. So let's get started with this. So how do you extract emails out? Now you go to your Google. Okay, I've made a section of keywords which you can use. So you just have to be copy and paste them, put in your keywords inside it to get accurate results. Okay, so there are different ways you can extract. I'm going to give you a set of keywords that you can use and you just have to be changing um, your keyword. For example, if you want to extract using um, Gmail, Yahoo me, and let's say you want to extract uh, manager, 
Okay, if you want to extract manager emails from generally from the website, and you can specify if you want to extract from um, any country, I'm going to give you a keyword for that too. Inside uh, the full, when you are getting this course, I'm going to be giving you a script which you can just copy and change the keyword. Then, if you want to change the country, change the country also. So, let's say we want to extract managers. Now, I can say enter from this enter see now what you would do is that you click on the software extension that you have here and when you click on this the email will automatically be there you can see the emails addresses now this is the emails this is the url target location okay now you can see these are the emails addresses now you can see the email it's very fast it gets you the emails immediately you can see it stop at this um at this you can see this is ibr primed at gmail.com Okay. When I click on two, which is the second page, it's going to add to the email addresses that we've extracted so far. If I click on the extractor also, you can see it will be plussed. You can see this is the end. I think we'll stop around. Um, this is where we'll stop the last time and see it has add up to it. So you don't need to be checking this extractor one after the other like this. What you just have to do is to just keep scrolling down, go to the next page. Okay, we scroll down again after the next page. The software automatically collects the data, so you don't need to be checking, checking. Then you go again to the next page, you go again to the next page. That's how you keep on going, and the software will keep on scraping the emails found for you from the web. Okay, now after this, again, I click on number six, which is the page six, and uh, it's going to get us lead based on this also. So you don't actually need to be copying, pasting, and uh and uh, you have to to copy before you proceed to the next page the software doesn't work like that just click on next page and the software is going to do the magic for you okay now let's check so far we have all these emails addresses you can see in just few seconds we've been able to extract like almost 20 emails let me copy and see copy only emails then uh email copy successfully let me go to my notes and, and let's put the email here paste you can see we have 97 email addresses generated now so far we've gotten 97 emails addresses and um, here you can also make use of um of uh to to remove the duplicates you know there will be duplicates in the email collected definitely you're going to remove the duplicate once we continue okay this is how the software keeps on going and extracting for you you can clear the data for example let's say i'm clearing this data out um clear data okay then i can come down Go to the next page eight you see it's going to get for this only it starts extracting from this only because we start from this page and when i click on this again you can see okay it's still loading up still loading here so once the load is completed we're going to have our data so you can see the load is completed now we have the data inside here you can see this so next we'll go to the next page okay go to the next page again and it keeps on extracting like this keeps on extracting like this. to the final page to the final page and you see even if i reach a page 13 from here we still have another page you can see it's up to 15 pages so with these 15 pages you have been short of extracting thousands of emails out with this particular keyword and you can change keyword you can come back here i'm going to clear this um clear this extracted data okay I click on okay then i can change the keyword like i said you actually need just need the keyword um script which will be given to you You just have to be changing the keyword and if you want to add another domain let's say or you want to um basically focused on the domain emails so you can clear the rest and leave it it's just email gmail you want you can clear all this if it's just your ultimate or you want to add any other extensions that you need all you guys do is um come down here and give it a space and type this or with um, this apostrophe and put the email addresses that you want let's say you want uh, outlook.com then you can close it this and and there's it so now what it's going to do is that it's going to add this inside okay let's change this keyword and let's say we want to get for um bitcoin let's say bitcoin and don't forget we do not have anything here now. it's empty okay let's say bitcoin and enter okay now if we click on this software we will get bitcoin email addresses you can see so far we have this now if you come down here and we click on next it keeps on generating for us like that so i'm going to stop this video here and in the next video i'm going to talk on how you can extract from facebook 
Then next, I'll talk on Instagram. Or you can start from TikTok.